Allah says wala taqulu salasa and do not say trinity intahu khairal lakum it is better for you innam allahu ilahun wahid as surely your god your allah is one wahid i would like to add some addendum to this part you see wahid word one it could be debatable amongst the christianity that god is in unity he is one but three in one or one in three to solve this sickness allah says in surah ikhlas chapter 112 qul sayo muhammad hu allahu ahad he is alone not one now this one gone into is gone into alone now when you say he is alone all those other sicknesses are removed now god is one and alone so now you cannot add those three three in one one or three etc this is the verdict of islam very clear succinct tersely spoken that god almighty is one and he is alone lam yalid wa lam yulad he does not beget nor he has begotten wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad and nothing is like unto him he is absolute and eternal anything you think about god almighty in your head is not befitting god's majesty he is a spirit we should worship him in spirit as remarkably said in the bible that god is spirit you cannot see god and live and you have to worship him in true spirit and not in a body size shape or apparition coming back to the subject of trinity today i am going to educate my christian brethren and sisters what is trinity does it really exist or it is a church church's creation or teachings respected viewers and listeners you will never be able to find a single verse in the bible where the word trinity has been mentioned let me repeat again not a single time in the entire holy bible you will find trinity but it is very strange that it is to be found in the holy quran and two times first the ayah which i tantalize or read in the beginning that allah says that do not say trinity is a noun ism don't say trinity that god is one of three or three in one and in another place allah says laqad kafara alladhina qalu inna allah thalithul thalatha anyone who says that god is one of the part of the three or three or whatever the mystical form is doing blasphemy against allah and before that if you go in verse 72 of surah al maida chapter 5 this is the ayah which is chapter 5 verse number 73 go one verse before jesus christ said allah is quoting jesus statement which i will elaborate in the bible allah says laqad kafara alladhina qalu inna allah in allah al masih ibn maryam whosoever will say that jesus christ the son of mary is god is making kufr is making blasphemy wa qala al masih but remember what christ said ya bani israil la abudu allah o children of israel worship allah rabbi wa rabbakum who is my lord and your lord innahu man yushrik billah whosoever will associate anyone with allah faqad harram allah alayhi al janna allah will surely forbid the uh, paradise for him or her wa ma wa huwa an nar and the fire of hell will be the dwelling place wa ma lis zalimin min ansar and there is no helper will come on that day this is very strict warning anyone who dies believing jesus is god is going to jahannam is going to hell according to islam and according to jesus guys himself and this is my job to explain from your own bible first of all you need to understand what is trinity 
Trinity is the concept which no pastor is able to explain yet. 2022 is going to end. No Christian work the name can explain you Trinity. Yes, they have to do circus. They have to do acrobats. They have to make it supposed to be in as much so. But yes or no, all these things has to be discussed. But on a rational grounds, on a succinct uh, ideologies, they are failed. Never. You bring three pastors in front of you and all of them simultaneously will say that we have the Holy Spirit inside us. But when you start asking them the questions regarding Trinity, you watch each one of them how the Holy Spirit will start deserting them. You ask one pastor, same source of unit, another explanation for the Trinity. Other one, another explanation, another explanation. You will never end, you will never end this, you know, enigma, this limbrim. It will, it is going on since this thing was postulated from the churches. Apologetics. Christians are apologetics and they are apologetics because they have to uh, supply apology to the rest of the world. The things they crippled in the book of God, they should be ashamed of that. Whereas Islam and Muslims have nothing to do with apology. We self-boast ourselves that we are having the haq, the truth. But Jesus says that when the spirit of truth will come, he will guide you into the all truth. Whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he shall tell you many new things to come. And he shall glorify me. Who glorified Jesus after Christianity? Tell me any non-Christian faith who glorified Jesus Christ. You will never find it except Islam. And this is the test in your own Holy Bible. But unfortunately, you don't see it. And I'm asking that what new truth the Holy Spirit gave you, which Jesus didn't give at his time. Just one. What did he give you? Christian says all the uh, New Testament, all the scriptures, Holy Spirit gave. What is the solution? What's the truth he gave you? These are the copy of like eyewitnesses, hear witnesses. What's the point? What God is revealing? This is what people are seeing there at that time. Revelation means something God is telling you which is unseen in front of your eyes. These were the hair witnesses and the eyewitnesses that the Jesus, whatever to happen to him, and then all those eyewitnesses, if you cross-reference, they contradict one another. This is not the subject of crucifixion. Every writer is different, or even in a divinity of God, a divinity of Christ, inverted commas. So what new thing this Holy Spirit gave you for 2022 years? Nothing. This is what Islam tells you. This Holy Spirit actually was a Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu So, Trinity. What is Trinity? The concept of Trinity is absolutely pagan. Isis, Horus, Sith. Then, Krishna, Brahman, Vishnu. Then, on and on. Isis, this uh, Atis of Phrygia, Dionysus of Greece, Mithra of Persia. These people, 25th born, December, all these people, similar stories. I am asking this Trinity, did Jesus ever preach it? You don't need to go far. Is there any single statement, any Trinity, any root is to be found in the Bible regarding Trinity? Tell me, is there any? No, there is nothing. You know, clever Christian, they tell me, okay, fine, you show us Tawheed in the Quran. You see, I always tell you, these Christians are so desperate. I'm talking about born again TV evangelists, these debaters, especially from Pakistan, these debaters who are born again Protestants, they they are asking me, okay, you are demanding us to show Trinity word in the Holy Bible. They know they are failed. Show us Tawheed in the Quran. You see, they are so stupid. They don't know that Tawheed is the concept. It's coming from the word Ahad, oneness. You show me in your Bible 
anything the root of Trinity. Come on, show me. Salasa in Arabic, Thales, Salasa. Show us in Hebrew where Jesus or Greek, or coined Greek, where Jesus is saying something similar, the root of Trinity. You will never find it. You see, in English we have base verbs. The base verbs changes into different position, infinitive verbs. You see, you need to see the base. Then the words are changes, changing into that. Tell me and show me which base word is to be found in the Bible regarding Trinity. You never find it. You never find anywhere Jesus preaching Trinity. 